Welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. This video is sponsored by Cricut. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make an acrylic wedding sign using your Cricut machine and a smart vinyl. Now let's begin. For this project you will need a smart vinyl, transfer tape, a large acrylic sheet, acrylic paint and a brush. I put together these designs on Cricut Design Space. The designs are based on the acrylic sheet size. I'm using a 32 by 20 inch panel. This is not a font, but a Cricut image that I modified. The rest are Cricut fonts. This design is the same, except for this part where I use a font I purchased. I increased the stroke using offset and I changed some of the letters that I didn't like. I'll share the link to this project on my Cricut Design profile. You need to have a Cricut Access subscription to use Cricut images and fonts. In this design, you can edit the text, for example, the name. If you are using handwritten style fonts, don't forget to weld them. Don't forget to align center horizontally when you are done with your modifications. I'm going to use this design. First, I'll hide the layer that I use as sky. I'm using Cricut Maker 3 with a smart vinyl because it allows me to cut large pieces without a mat. Click on Make It. If you want, you can rearrange some of the pieces just remember to be inside the margins. Continue. Select the material. I'm using a smart vinyl, matte metallic. I have the fine point blade in place. Now I'll load the material. I fast forwarded this part of the video. If you are using Maker 3 or Explore 3 and a smart vinyl, you don't need to use a mat. The process to cut this design took about 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Cut the design into pieces, this way it will be easier to transfer. Transferring a large design as a single piece can be challenging, so I recommend making it in parts. This way you will also be able to save some material for other small projects. Now that I have all the pieces, I'll assemble them in my mat as a puzzle. I'm using design space as a guide to ensure I have the correct line spacing. I'll place a piece of parchment paper on top and trace the text. This is an extra step, but I recommend doing it because it will save you a lot of time when transferring the pieces. It is easier to trace the letters after you complete the weaving. You don't need to be perfect tracing the letters, this paper is just a guide. Now I'll start the weaving that is removing the extra material. Don't forget to remove the material inside the letters. Now I'll cut a piece of transfer tape. Place the transfer tape over the design, use the scraper front and back to ensure the design gets transferred. Starting from the corner, remove the backing. I'll repeat the same steps with the other pieces. Remove the protective plastic layers from the acrylic sheet. Now I'm going to use my guide to place the pieces. Place the acrylic on top. Center the design in the acrylic. Now I'll transfer the first piece. Use the scraper to make sure the design gets transferred. Starting from a corner, remove the transfer tape. I 
I'll do the same with the other pieces. I'm using the same piece of transfer tape, it is usable so long as it is still sticky. If you want a clear sign, the project is done. You only need to place it on an easel and decorate it with flowers and branches. I'm going to show you how it looks put together and at the end of the video I'll add more photos. I suggest keeping in mind if the wedding is indoor or outdoors and what time of the day. This is how you see it indoors. And here is outside during the afternoon. For the second version, I'll paint the backside with acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is economical and you can find it at any craft store. I'll be using white acrylic paint. Shake the paint and place it in a container. If you are mixing colors for a costume color, get enough paint for at least 3 to 4 passes. Turn the sign around. Before painting, I'll clean it with a microfiber cloth. I like to make long strokes, but this is up to you. Make sure there are no blobs of paint in any area. Check how it looks. I'll add another two layers, but this is based on your preference. Let it dry. I prefer to use a hair dryer with cold air to accelerate drying. At the end, I use three layers of paint, drying the paint completely between every layer. This is how the sign looks outdoor during the morning and here is outside during the afternoon. I hope you like this project and if you make it, don't forget to share a picture on my social media. I'll share the link to all the products I use for this project in the info box below the video. If you love your cricket and want to be part of a fun and learning community, I invite you to join the Cricut Crafting Corner group on Facebook. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon! Ciao, ciao!